Hi, my name is Marcia Anita Hobbs, founder and lead designer of Barbwire Noose Clothing, actor, model, author, and human rights activist. I've been an educator in the aquatics field for over 15 years. I thank you all for your wonderful speeches and a shout out to the IDYM team for hosting this event. Happy Mother's Day all. Mother Defined is a woman in relation to her child or children, bringing up a child with care and affection to give birth to a child. A child's first teacher is its mother. No matter what that lesson is, positive or negative, love or hate, the birth mother is a child's first teacher. The world evolves as our child grows up. We evolve as our child grows up. Well, we should evolve with nature and time anyway. I think with these basic motherly roles and influences summed up, we can see the irrefutable vital role that the mother plays in a child's life. My mother showed great examples of charitability and kindness to others in her personal example which I think was a strong trait I inherited, as well as an ability to stand firm if necessary. My mum had a very positive body image view, and she encouraged the embracing of your own unique individual beauty, which we all have. Growing up, both my parents worked. My mum is a great example of a female hustle and a determination to create her own achievements. I'm not a mother myself. Unmarried, having a child out of wedlock is not on my list of achievements. I have taken some notes from the Washington Post in 2019, publishing a very candid article from mothers about motherhood. Summed up in some short, expressive, limited words, here are some of my favourite reads about motherhood from this article. The first one is, she is a mother. She is vulnerable. Just hurt her child and you'll see. And she is strong. Just hurt her child and you'll see. She has been elevated. She is a mum. And she has been demeaned. She is just a mum. She is full. Loving a child completely will do that to you. And she is empty. Loving a child completely will do that to you. Who says she can't have it all? She has everything. Written by Sharon Holbrook. I'd like to tell you what motherhood means to me. Except it's challenging to sit at my desk while my pockets are full of rocks. In the four years I've spent as a mum, that's what I've become. I'm the rock holder. My pockets are heavy with rocks. Rocks sag in my backpack. They clunk in my coat. My son finds these rocks and urges me to have them. Slipping them into my good purses sweetens the deal with crumbling leaves, an array of sticks, wildflowers, the occasional cicada shell. He gives me the world, or tries to, Maggie Downs. The last one, I can't imagine what it's like to be a mother without really being one. A mum of two dogs and an educator of thousands of children whom I consider as my responsibility and influence during class time. I know and understand that a child is a perfect example of our primary instinct to covet what we see. It is easy to recognise that your actions influence a child. Your words indoctrinate the thinking pattern of their developing minds. Fundamentally, positive inspiration is key. Thank you, Ignite the Dreams of Young Minds team for your contribution to positively inspire children and for acknowledging mums on their special day. Clearly, that last speech was my own. You are very appreciated, all the mums out there. And again, Happy Mother's Day.